fuck up with the street, nigga Gonna tell the bitches I don't know my peas with Beat it up and never leave it, baby, that's it What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Kelly Kills back with another YouTube video. I'm showing you guys how to stay organized during the school year. Period. I know it's gonna be like kind of weird, maybe, maybe, because I know that a lot of people are not actually going like onto campus this fall or this school year. Period. These are just some things that you guys can um take into consideration even if you don't go to school i still advise it because it's very 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 helpful so the first thing i would recommend that you guys get is a uh, um planner planner books i have two of them i just got these like um, some weeks ago for the school year coming up I got actually one for YouTube and then I got another one for the um, school year. On the inside, it just has like these dividers and then this is how the paper looks. It just says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then on the back, it says um, Thursday, Friday, and excuse my nails. I had to take my nails off because it was getting too long and the nail shops are closed. But thursday friday and weekend so for the weekend part i just be putting like whatever i'm doing saturday or sunday but i make sure that i list saturday or sunday and then it also came with um some stickers and i just put it in the back of the book because i wasn't really gonna um use them they have um so this one's upside down and these are like um the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Sunday stickers, they have cake stickers, stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, I use these. This is really, really helpful. Um, I got these from the 99 cent store, <laughs> but they're so cute. So I was like, just go ahead and let me get it now. These are really, really helpful. It helps me to keep up with everything it reminds me like what i have to do what i need to do what time i need to get it done this is like highly recommended especially if you're the type of person that forgets to do homework like um not purposely but like accidentally if you forget things you write it down so like let's say it's um monday i have okay so at my school well old school i guess i could say now at my old school we would have all classes on monday and then tuesdays and thursdays we have first third and fifth period and then wednesdays and fridays we'll have second fourth and sixth period so let's say monday right i'll write down like um i have math homework due by thursday i have math i mean english homework due by wednesday or something like that but i will write it on monday instead of wednesday or thursday because if i look at my planner on wednesday or thursday and i see that i have it due and i haven't done it then it's like i'm not gonna turn it in or i'm gonna turn it in late because i didn't prepare myself you know what i'm saying so yeah i got these from the 99 cent store i got two and they were so cute i was like i have to get these because they were cute the next thing that i would recommend you guys get is um a folder like this one i got this one on a college tour from um Cal Poly Pomona. I'm not on a college tour. I'm not actually gonna go there though. Go Lopes, period. But um, yeah, this folder is I only use this folder really when um I have like loose papers that I no longer need, I guess at that moment, but I feel like maybe I'll need it in the future, so I just keep them instead of like just throwing them to my backpack or putting them in a binder and losing the binder or whatever the case may be. So this is for my loose papers. Um it's a regular um, folder. It has the little pockets on both sides. And um, yeah, just navy blue. Very standard. Very just. Yeah. The next thing that I recommend you guys get is either a box for your pens and pencils or a pouch. I use my, um, I use actually my pouch, but I sometimes use my box if I don't have my pouch. Like, you know, it's like a backup i guess you could say my box is backup but basically in here i got this from um the community center by my house it just has like um 
I'll put these pens in here, but it just has like wooden pencils and it came with an eraser, like the pink eraser. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. This one. But I ended up putting the pink eraser inside my pouch because yeah. I don't remember where I got my pouch from, but yeah, I've been having it for like some time. So on the inside I have um colored pens I have I have a purple pen green pen blue pen orange pen red pen black pen yeah and then I have my highlighter I have to buy some more highlighters I actually bought some um some markers because they were like really thin like they had thin tips so um I got those because I didn't see any highlighters at the time. And I'm like, if I go somewhere else and they have highlighters, I'm going to be mad. So I'm just get these markers. And I could just, you know, like, highlight my, uh, that's really ghetto. But, yes, that's what I did. So, anyways, um, yes, I, I, me personally, I like taking notes with, um, different colored pens. Because it just helps me, um, I guess you could say, understand my notes better or understand the material better. Um. I like to see it in different colors because if everything's the same color like if all my notes are just like straight black or straight blue then it's like mm, I don't really know like I feel like I can't really remember stuff that well um but that's just me everybody's different but I suggest uh color coding your notes it's a lot um what's the word I'm looking for it's very helpful that's what I'm trying to get to yeah next thing I suggest is um uh composition book um just regular black and white composition book i got this i believe from i'm not gonna lie i don't remember but i know they sell these at like literally any store like 99 cent store dollar tree um target um office max i think it's office max um literally anywhere they're everywhere so i use um i use this book for my warm-up so like you know how you first get to class and then there's like a question on the board or whatever the case may be and it's just like to get you started so you just want to jump straight into material i put my warm-ups in here um sometimes i did it on loose leaf papers like if i was to take this if i was to take my binder out of my locker and this would fall out then i would just use the loose leaf paper in my binder but yeah this is uh, for my warm-ups or like any small questions, reflection questions, anything like that that we have to do in class. I will use this book right here. So next, I suggest that you guys get like a binder. And when you get, oh, it was backwards. <laughs> when you get the binder, make sure that like um, you buy, uh, of course, loose leaf paper because you never know when you need uh, loose leaf paper. But I got... Um, I bought some dividers my nails are really bothering me I bought some dividers for it so that way you know like I could separate all my work or whatever the case may be I got red blue green um what is this orange or pink I think that's pink yellow orange blue and clear it just helped me to like separate all my work so what I mean by that is like classwork quizzes tests um anything along those lines just keep everything in order but i ended up putting um loose leaf paper in there because i never actually i actually didn't up i didn't end up using this specific binder but yeah the last thing that i will be um suggesting for you guys to get is a five star um notebook that has the um the biters in it so like this with the pockets and everything um i actually like this notebook because like it helps me like get through my weeks of school it helps me get through school what i mean by that is like okay so i have this green one and then i have a yellow one so my green one was for all of my even classes and my yellow one was for all of my odd classes so on mondays i would um have both of my binders in my backpack and then at the end of the day i would take 
the green one out and leave the yellow one in my backpack so that way I can be prepared for Tuesday's class which is first period I could be prepared for my odd classes so that way I don't have to be back and forth to my locker all the time like it's too much especially if your locker is not by any of your classes then yeah I suggest you do that and just be prepared instead of going back and forth back and forth then you end up being late and all that and nobody don't want to talk that because that's ghetto how are you gonna be late to class like then you gotta hear your teacher's mouth let's say you forget it you gotta hear your teacher's mouth be like oh can i go get my um stuff from my locker can you or they'd be like why you didn't go during lunch time girl because i wasn't thinking about it during lunch time i was trying to get my food and all this different type of stuff but you just anyways so yes i suggest that you guys get invested in, um these notebooks i really hope that you guys invest in this stuff because this really helps me and if it helps me then i'm more than sure that it will help you like honestly because i'll be sure you don't take anything else from this video take the my advice on the um planners because this will really change your life i'm telling you it will help you so much literally and it's even if you even if you like um forget to check your planner or let's say you're out and you need to check your planner and you don't have it put in your phone because every you take your phone everywhere you go so put the reminders in your put put whatever you're trying to plan in your reminders on your phone so that way you can always have it with you every day all day that's the end of this video i hope you guys like it like comment and subscribe share this with your friends and your mama and your grandma and your daddy and all that and turn on the post notification bell and we on the road to 100 subscribers subscribers <laughs> comment down below if you want to see more videos like this one and what's it gonna take for you to know you're the only one that I want around? What's it gonna take for you to know I know you're the only one that.